Good day everyone! Today, we will learn factoring perfect square trinomials. But let us first review square of a binomial. From the study of special products, we know that the square of a binomial is a trinomial. Such trinomials are called perfect square trinomials. So the sign of the binomial is the same as the sign of the middle term of the trinomial. So if the sign of the binomial is positive, then the middle term of the trinomial is also positive. If the sign of the binomial is negative, then the middle term of the trinomial is negative. How will you recognize a perfect square trinomial? So a trinomial is a perfect square first when two of the terms are perfect squares and both are positive. So do we have perfect squares in the given trinomial? So we have there 9 is squared and 25 and they are both positive. Since 9 squared is the square of 3a and 25 is the square of 5. Second, when the third, usually the middle term is twice the product of the quantities that were squared. So the quantities that were squared are 3a and 5. So therefore, 30 should be twice the product of 3a and 5. So 2 times 3a is 6a times 5 is 30a. So therefore, 9a squared plus 30a plus 25 is a perfect square trinomial. Before we factor perfect square trinomials, let us first answer this. It says here, fill in each blank to make each expression a perfect square trinomial. Number 1, x squared minus 14x plus blank. So the third term is missing. So, how do we find the value of the third term? So, we know that the third term should be a square number. So, we have to first get the square root of the first term. So, that is square root of x squared is x. Then, we divide the middle term by twice the square root of the first term. So, negative 14x divided by 2x is negative 7. Then, we square negative 7. So, negative 7 squared or negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. So, our perfect square trinomial is x squared minus 14x plus 49. Number 2, blank plus 20m plus 1. So, this time the missing term is the first term. So, how do we find the value of the first term? So, we have to again get the square root of the last term that is 1. Then we divide the middle term by twice the square root of the last term. So, yeah, 20m divided by 2, since 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 10m. Then we square 10m, that is 100m squared. So the perfect square trinomial is 100m squared plus 20m plus 1. Number 3 b squared minus blank plus 36. This time, the missing term is the middle term. So, we simply get the square root of the first term and the last term. So, the square root of b squared is b. And the square root of 36 is 6. So, the middle term should be twice the product of the quantities that were squared. So, the quantities that were squared are b and 6. So, that should be 2 times b times 6. So 2 times b times 6 is 12b. So the middle term is 12b. So therefore, the perfect square trinomial is b squared minus 12b plus 36. Let us now factor perfect square trinomials. Example 1, factor x squared plus 18x plus 81. So let us see if this trinomial is a perfect square. So, two of the terms should be perfect squares and should be both positive. So, x squared and 81 are both positive and they are both perfect squares. Since x squared is the square of x and 81 is the square of 9. Now, the middle term should be twice the product of the quantities that were squared. So, the quantities that were squared are x and 9. So, 18x should be 
2 times x times 9. So 2 times x times 9 is 18x. Therefore, x squared plus 18x plus 81 is a perfect squared trinomial. So we can now factor x squared plus 18x plus 81. So we have reviewed that the product of a square of a binomial is a perfect square trinomial. Therefore, the factors of perfect square trinomial is a square of a binomial. So we know that the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 81 is 9. So we can now express it as a square of a binomial. That will be x plus 9, a quantity squared. So, following the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial. So, therefore, the factors of x squared plus 18x plus 81 is x plus 9 quantity squared. Example 2 factor x squared minus 6x plus 9. x squared and 9 are both perfect squares since x squared is the square of x and 9 is the square of negative 3. So, this is negative 3 because the middle term of the trinomial is negative. So, and negative 3 times negative 3 is the same as positive 9. Now, the middle term, negative 6x, should be twice the product of the quantities that were squared, which are x and negative 3. So, that will be 2 times x times negative 3. So, 2 times x times negative 3 is negative 6x. So, x squared minus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. Now we can factor x squared minus 6x plus 9. So the quantities that were squared are also the square roots of the first and the last terms of the trinomial. So we can now express these quantities as a square of a binomial. That will be x minus 3 quantity squared. Therefore, the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 9 is x minus 3 quantity squared. Example 3, factor 4x to the 4th power plus 36x squared plus 81. 4x to the 4th power and 81 are both perfect squares since 4x to the 4th power is the square of 2x squared and 81 is the square of 9. Now, the middle term should be twice the product of the quantities that were squared. So 36 would be 2 times 2x squared times 9. So 2 times 2x squared is 4x squared times 9 is 36x squared. Now we can write the factors of 4x to the 4th power plus 36x squared plus 81. So we simply express 2x squared plus 9 as square of a binomial. So the factor of 4x to the 4th power plus 36x squared plus 81 is 2x squared plus 9 quantity squared. Example 4, factor 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared. 4x squared and 25y squared are both perfect squares since 4x squared is the square of 2x and 25y squared is the square of negative 5y. That is negative 5y since the middle term is negative. Then the middle term should be twice the product of the quantities that were squared. So the quantities that were squared are 2x and negative 5y. So negative 20x should be equal to 2 times 2x times negative 5y. So 2 times 2x is 4x times negative 5y is negative 20xy. Therefore, 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared is a perfect square trinomial. So we can now write the factors of 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared as the square of 2x minus 5y. So therefore, the factors of 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared is 2x minus 5y quantity squared. Let us summarize what we have learned. To factor perfect square trinomial, first, get the square roots of the first and the last terms of the trinomial. Second, express it as a square of a binomial following the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial. 